We're drinking out of the big bowl today. They're drinking it so fast that we had to move up. We can't put the big bowl in there until they get it to be a certain size because we don't want them to be drowned in their bowl. And then we also have this that holds quite a bit of water. I guess it's just a tube, but I don't want it leaking on the ground just in case. So I just put it, the bowl underneath there. We just got mopped and um, swept and mopped and then they pee right away. But no poop inside for the last, I see, two or three days in the morning when I come in. That is a huge relief. What you guys doing? You guys get ready to go to bed? And they're drinking. They're figuring out this new water bowl. They're like, oh, we like this unlimited water. Mm -hmm. And then they, somebody already got in that. We're leaving the kibble out. Somebody already got in it and made a big mess. I wonder who that could have been. Right, Sucre? Maybe not. I'm being judgmental. And then outside, let's see if we can see outside. <laughs> we got that all cleaned up. Somebody's going to poop right there. A little tobago. He always goes and finds a little corner to go to the bathroom in. So... kennel out there like this so it's um secure but I can also stand up in it because that one is only four feet tall and we are covering it in case so we can have security for animals getting into we don't want them to get in like we have coyotes and raccoons and um, skunks will even eat a puppy if they're hungry and the puppy's not fighting these guys are uh, to the age now where they're fighting back but I left Breezy in here last night with them like I always do and she decided that she was going to break into the uh, little play yard here and eat all of the puppy's food. She ate all of that and she got her head into the little puppy kibble and ate a bunch of that. So she'll probably be vomiting today. <laughs> We're guessing, but maybe not because I'm um, shortening or lowering her feed. She's getting really fat because she's not producing as much milk. So um, because of that, she feels like I'm starving her to death, I'm sure. And so um, she was hungry. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna, I'll just help myself. <laughs> so now she's not allowed in during the day because we don't, oh, and she also opened up those, see how I've got like four bones in there. Um, she opened up two that were in bags and helped herself to those as well. So she's usually not like that. But when she's pregnant or nursing, she is a counter surfer. So I'm going to go over to my log book that Owen decided to color on yesterday. <laughs> so the scribbles are his. And you can kind of, if you want to just look at their growth. I missed these two days. Let's see. How can I do this? I missed this day and this day and then went down here like I was supposed to and then realized that I had logged this day up here. So this actually goes here and I did that and then this is um, today's. And then I think um, this will be the end of, it's, there will be five weeks, this will be the end of daily weighing and we'll go to weekly weighing because they're all gaining good and I'm not worried about them. So, um, there you go. That's that. And yeah, just wanted to do a check-in and let you know how your babies are doing. And they are doing good. And little Miss Pink there has uh, taken the lead in size. So it's big Miss Pink. And she's got such a sweet little personality. She is a little sassy, um, but not, not rebellious. Right? Right, Jamaica? Who we're, she, she'll have, she's got a new owner 
so she'll be changing her name shortly. So I'm gonna have to remember what her name is. And then also, little purple is taken. Let me get over where I can see her. She's uh, been called for. Her name is gonna be Jolie, which means pretty in French. And with a last name like Decre, I like French. So, little Jolie, and soon to be some other name, Jamaica, they're both reserved. <laughs> There's your kittens for the day. I gotta go to work.